Hi, I'm Stefan Ramsdorf. I'm professor of physics of the oceans at the University of Potsdam in Germany. And I am uh, the head of the Earth System Analysis Department at the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research. I'm here to present our new study on sea level, sea level rise, which has been published today. Sea level rise is one of the major consequences of global warming. It's a physically logical consequence because as the oceans warm, the water in the oceans expands. That is a main part of sea level rise. And also the land ice, including mountain glaciers, the ice sheets on Greenland and Antarctica, they are also melting due to global warming. That is the second main part of sea level rise. Note that the amount of continental ice that we still have on this planet, mainly on Greenland and Antarctica, corresponds to 65 meters of global sea level rise if it were all to melt. Luckily, that's not really on the cards, but what it does mean is that with global warming, we cannot afford to lose even a small percentage of the continental ice sheet. Sea level has started to rise in the 19th century and has in the 20th, since, since the early 20th century, risen by about 20 centimeters. The future of sea level depends a lot on the emission scenario, and there are a lot of uncertainties about this. A lot of scientific studies get published on sea level rise, actually at, uh, at a rate of about 2,000 papers a year now. And it is difficult to keep an overview over all these research results if you're not a specialist following this scientific literature all the time. And that's why several colleagues of mine, led by Ben Horton from Singapore, have decided to conduct an expert survey and ask the leading sea level rise experts on how much sea level they expect. Now, we actually did a similar survey seven years ago, and now we decided to repeat the survey. How do you select the experts? Obviously, we, we don't just select our friends or people that we like, but rather we selected those experts that have published at least six studies on sea level rise in the past years. And we wrote to all these experts. You use a standard scientific database for finding these. And we got responses from 106 sea level rise experts estimating how much sea level rise we expect by the year 2100 and in the longer run by the year 2300. So let me talk about the results. For first of all, an optimistic scenario, that is we keep the Paris Accord and we limit global warming to well below two degrees then the experts expected a median of 45 centimeters of sea level rise by the end of this century that comes on top of the 20 centimeters that we already have behind us. And on the other extreme, if we allow unmitigated rise of greenhouse gas emissions, that's a very pessimistic scenario with about four and a half degrees of global warming by the end of the century, uh, since pre-industrial times, then we expect about twice as much sea level rise. The, the mean, what the experts suggested, uh, evaluated, is about uh, between 90 centimeters and a meter, with a range going um, up to more than 1 meter 30 by the end of this century. In the longer run, the amount of sea level rise is becoming obviously much larger because you have to realize that sea level is a very slow responding part of the climate system. And so it is really unfolding over many centuries to come. Now, by the year 2300, uh, the uncertainty is obviously larger, but even if we stuck to the Paris Accord and limited global warming to 
well below 2 degrees, we would end up uh, on average, our experts say, by with uh, about 1 meter 20 of additional sea level rise with a range of between half a meter and more than two meters, so pretty substantial uncertainty. Now, in the worst case, if we allowed global warming to continue unmitigated until the year 2300, which thankfully is quite unlikely, we could end up with even more than five meters of global sea level rise. You have to know that about 10% of the world's population live below five meters above the high tide line. So uh, that's uh, about 770 million people today that would be affected if such a massive sea level rise would occur. That would obviously be a massive disaster. But it is very critical to limit global warming to avoid further sea level rise. Like with the corona crisis, it is very important to act in time because once you see that you are starting to have major problems with rising seas, then it will be too late to stop it. Basically, the decisions we take now in these years and the coming years determine the rate of sea level rise for many centuries to come and therefore we are committing future generations to ongoing sea level rise if we emit more greenhouse gases. Thank you very much for your attention.